Hi there guys and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at creating a Photoshop CS5 icon straight here in Adobe Photoshop. Now this can be done in any Photoshop um, down to CS3. So let's get started. So this is what we've created here. We've got the actual actual icon with the text then we've got all the rest around it and this is really simple to do and won't take long at all. So first off I'm just going to go to File New and I'm just going to make the size width 500 and the height 500 and click OK. Right, so first off we're just going to come over here to the rectangle tool. Now we're going to click hold and shift to create a perfect square. Just going to come down, just take about that big, it doesn't really matter. Just leaving enough room so over here we can create the edges and the top. Right, okay. So first off we're just going to create the gradient. So I'm going to go effects, gradient overlay. Now I've got some. Um, gradients we can use over here that I found before. So the first one is 06356A. Now if you need these, these are in the link in the description. Or in the description, it's not in a link, but in the description. So if you want to copy and paste them you can do so. Click OK. Now for the second one, I'm going to choose 0664BE. OK. OK again and that's all we need to do there so okay so as you can see we've got this nice gradient now and if you look and um, no you can't look down there because I'm not recording that bit but that actually does look like the Photoshop icon the co the gradient color so now we're going to want to create that side so if I go down here to new layer I'm just going to zoom in for this one so I'm just going to zoom into 200% right okay um, actually no I'll zoom back out actually now I'm going to come over here to the polygon lasso tool. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can edit it after. I'm going to click, hold shift. Oh, sorry, mucked that up. Wait, let me just delete that. Oh. Okay. So click, hold and shift. Now you just want to click. You don't want to click and hold down like I just did. Click, hold and shift. Click again. Click again like so then you just want to go back up again so it joins now the little marching ants will come now you're just going to hit alt and backspace to fill that okay oops there we are control d to deselect now that look actually looks pretty good but um, I'll show you if you need to remove it into place I'll show you how to do that in a sec so I'm just going to go to FX again and gradient overlay now on the gradient I've got some more colors we can choose here now I've got we're gonna do no no one C three B okay and the next one is going to be no no three five seven A okay okay again okay again now the sides are a lot darker okay so now we're gonna create the top but as you can see it's just a little bit off there so if I'm going to zoom in to 200%, now the bottom is off a tiny bit, and if I hit Control T, I'm just going to move this down, and it should lock. It's just locked there now, so that's okay there. I'm just going to move it up a tiny bit more. Ooh, too much. There we are. Now that's in line. Hit the tick. There we are. Nicely in place. That one on the bottom actually isn't. That's just there we are. Tick. Right. Okay. So that's now in place. Just going to zoom back out. 100%. So now I have our side. Now we need to create the top. So I'm going to get that polygon lasso tool again. And I'm going to go from here. Click. Go all the way to the edge. Just quite far from the edge. About that far. Go down. Just below the document. Just in case we need to move it up. And then back up. Oops. Move that up. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to fill that in. Alt. Backspace. Sorry. You want to make sure you create a new layer first. Now Alt and Backspace. Now we can fill that in. Now we're just going to zoom in to 200%, like so. Now you just want to drag this below of the shape layer, so that's below of the side and the shape. Now we just want to fill this first. So if we go to Effects, Gradient Overlay, I'm just going to get the gradient tool. I'm going to choose the first one to be. 0, 0, A, 2, oh, that's the wrong one, what am I doing? Sorry about that. Yeah, I could edit these out, but I'm not going to. 
Just gonna show you how stupid I am. Sorry about that. Right, okay, so I'm gonna start doing it again. So it is zero zero A two E seven. Okay, now it's a lot lighter on the top. And the next one is going to be zero zero C seven FF. Okay. And now also we're gonna have a stroke on this one as well. So we've got a stroke. I'm gonna make it one pixel and the colour is going to be let's find it up. Right, it's going to be zero zero B zero F seven. Okay. Okay again. Now this needs to be moved up quite a bit, so I'm just gonna use the arrow keys to move it up. So right, so that's in the right place. I'm gonna hit control T and I'm just gonna bring it just a tiny bit out. That's enough. Okay, so now we have it nice in line and if I zoom back out there we are, we have our top now on our sides, so that's looking good. So the last thing we need to do is add the text. I'm just going to come over here to the text tool. And the font we're going to be using is Meridia Pro. We're going to make sure it is semi-bold. Okay, and I'm just going to click here now. Make, I'm just going to drag this layer up above the top layer. And do it again actually, sorry about that. Oops. Sorry about that. Right, so click now. Um, P, big P, small s, like that. Now you're going to want to change the size, but mine's alright because I did obviously did this one here. So as you can see, that's our text in place. If you want to make sure you know it's exactly in place, if you hit control on the shape one, that's going to be the first layer we created. That one right there. Now you can come up here to these tools up here. So that to make it in the middle and that to make it perfectly down. Okay. Now we're going to add some a gradient um, to this and we've got a couple of other effects as well I'm just going to go straight to gradient overlay first and I'm going to on my left gradient I'm going to choose the um, gradient to be 0, 0, A, A, E, 5 ok and on the right it's going to be 0, 0, C, F, F, F now if you need to, need to copy these they're in the description and now we're going to add a drop shadow and an inner shadow. So the first, the drop shadow, I'm going to make the opacity 10%, sorry, 10%. The distance of 2 and the size of 0 and the spread of 0. Okay. And I'm going to choose the inner shadow. I'm going to make my opacity 17%, distance 2, choke 0, and size 0. Okay. And that is it. That is the tutorial on the Photoshop CS5 icon. Now, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I did muck up, but I hope you caught it all at the end of it. Now, um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe too, if you would like. Alright, guys, see ya.